Now, people say that Singapore is boring, but I don't think so. You just need to know where to look. Recently, I discovered a few websites that offer really unique local experiences that I thought are cool and quite interesting that I'm going to recommend today. This one I found is from Airbnb Experiences. Now, I'm a huge foodie and I love to cook, so this one is a breath of fresh air away from the usual restaurant and hawker fare. It is a cooking class of forgotten local family recipes. This class is taught by a very personable elderly lady. I don't like to use the word old because sensitive. <laughs> she grows her own crops, which are also used in the recipes. Oh, it's so hot and it's not the weather, it's Mami So. Mami So, the owner of one kind house, the modern day kampong. This, this is, uh, is where you grow all your crops. Yeah, this is a spinach, mm -hmm. tomatoes, a rocket. Oh, can I try? Yeah, you can try. It's very The spiciest, spicy. most delicious rocket leaf I've ever had. She cannot stop touching my bum. <laughs> <laughs> what else is and there? And we have lavender. Oh, she can stop holding my hands as well. <laughs> more vegetables and more crops at the back garden. Let's go. Ho hen, ho hen, ho hen, Such a beautiful spot, isn't it? Very rare do you get such natural light and high ceiling in Singaporean homes. This is the kitchen. Oh my lord, this is my dream kitchen. Let's go to the backyard. How much of this do you use in your cooking? About 40%. Wow, very self-sufficient. I can see that you're flanked by two neighbours with yeah. no fruit crop at all. Do you share with them? I, I give them uh, bitter so god. generous. Yeah. Only bitter god she gives. So I'm here in Mami So's very amazing kitchen. We're going to be making some traditional dishes today. Blue pea flour rice, bitter gourd salad, which is pretty special. We're going to be using bitter gourd plug from your garden as well. This morning. And a curry chicken from scratch, including the coconut milk. All right, let's get into making the rice first. Now we're just going to strain the flowers. So we get this nice indigo colored liquid. I flavor it with this pandan. Also from the garden. Yeah, lemongrass, ginger, this from the garden, galanga, and garlic. I like how she just eyeballs the whole thing, just like uh, feeling, feeling, just put inside. You can stir. All right, cook this so in the now cooker. Now we're going to cook it in the rice cooker. Now we're going to do the curry chicken. So these are all the spices that go into the curry that we're going to be making from scratch. So, what do you need me to cut? You, can, you want to cut onion? Yeah, oh, you give me the worst one. <laughs> okay. I hate cutting onions. It's almost so small. I've made curries, all sorts, from scratch. Always from scratch. I hate to use uh, packet seasoning. It's not as scary as you think it is once yeah. you assemble everything because it's really just blending it. So, we're just grinding all the dried chilli right now. There's a lot of dried chilli in there. The ratio to the rest of the ingredients is uh, very high. It's not spicy, it gives you the colour oh, and okay. the oil. So the seeds in there though, you sure not spicy? No. And now we can add in the rest. rest. Alright, that's it. It's so easy, right? It's just blending and this is your curry rumpa. Yeah. We're going to be uh, squeezing out coconut milk from coconut shavings. This reminds me of when I was a kid. Uh, we used to go to this place called the Ape Shop, which is like a grocery store. And you see this old guy there just grating coconut fresh. And then I'll be taking it home to my grandma who will be like squeezing it. And I never knew how much hard work it was until I was punished and I had to do it. These days, this method is not... Um, common anymore. It's kind of obsolete because you can buy coconut milk in packets. Wow, look at that! It feels so good! It moisturises your hand. Yeah, and it's very oily as well. You can yeah. feel the oils, the natural oils from the coconut. Can I use stockings as well, pantyhose? Can too. Buy a new pair. <laughs> no shit, of course. <laughs> It's very therapeutic to do like your sauces from scratch, especially when you need to take your mind off like a stressful work week or a heartbreak. That's what I do, you know, when I when I have to get over breakups, I cook. Yeah. Then for that seven hours, right, I don't think about anything but the food I'm making. Which is damn dope. I wish call me when you cook. Huh? I'm going to eat. <laughs> okay, one last sock. Now I'm gonna lick my hands. Excuse me. Okay. For the coconut, we need to put a bit of salt. Oh, that was damn shook. Guys, if only you could lick my hands right now. Mm. So, now we're going to fry the rumpa. Slowly. Not the whole thing, ah? Uh. No, slowly. Then it'll splash onto your face. Then it'll splatter a few times, you know. Oh, put it in the centre. <laughs> and then when you start coughing, you know you're halfway there. It's halfway there. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck coughing. It should change colour. <laughs> Sila, this mummy so good put so much chili inside. <coughs> now we're adding the coconut milk. A bit only, not too much. Just tempering it. <coughs> See? The culprit is suffering herself. 
And then we add in the chicken pieces right now. Cover up. Give it one stir and then let it simmer, right? All right, guys, see you later. So the curry chicken is simmering right now. We're gonna be making the bitter gourd salad. Cut into half, and then you scrape out all this. Now you do all the work. <laughs> I show you, we do the other one. Drives a hard bargain, yeah. this, this woman. Then you slice it thinly. Okay. I don't usually have people bossing me around, but with her, I'm okay. <laughs> so I learned cooking from watching my mom. She would inspire me through cooking and also punish me through cooking. One of my most significant moments in cooking was when my mom punished me by making me peel an entire bag of ginkgo nuts. It's not cracking the shell, you know. It's peeling the skin off the actual nut inside. But she just wants me to do the difficult bit, like you. Like you. You have to learn the hard way. Yeah. So it just started from there and then I found out that I enjoyed it. So I started reading recipe books and realised that, hey, I actually can follow them in. I think that's making a lot of noise right now. Okay, now we're just adding in the potatoes. The thing about cooking is that you got to always be in your feet. Sometimes the gravy can be boiled to nothing. So back to the bitter gourd. And then now I'm going to marinate with the tomatoes and onions. Lime juice with a little bit of sugar in. Okay. Just pour. Mmm. This is almost like a salsa. Okay, so check in on this again. Whoa, looks amazing. Mmm. It's damn short. I can drink it as a soup. Yeah. No need salt, no need sugar, nothing. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Ready for eating? plating. The rice is ready. Let's see. Wow. The pandan is. It almost smells like chicken rice. Can I have more rice, please? <laughs> Why you give me three, three quarters of a rice bowl? You make me work so hard with the. <laughs> with you the, can have second helping. Booms! Blue rice. The rice is on the plate. We'll just spoon the salad now. So little. A bit more. <laughs> Give me more. You were so happy. More. <laughs> and then we've got the curry. Wow. Look at all the colors. To make it Instagrammable, we just plucked the fresh blue pea flower from the garden. We did it! This is our hard work. Can we eat now? <laughs> How does it Holy taste? moly, it does taste like chicken rice rice. You didn't put any chicken in there. No. Guys, we're home. <laughs> this is so good. It really hits you with the chilli. You can see the chilli is not totally minced in as well. You can still see some red parts. So it makes this curry taste really vibrant and very fresh. You're definitely not going to get this flavour out of a packet. Now try the bitter gourd. Mm. Mm. I would take this over acha any day. I just completed the Mami So One Kind House cooking experience. So normally cooking lessons take place in indoor cooking studios, but here it's in someone's house. And I always feel like I'm intruding into someone's personal space, except that I'm absolutely welcome here. This is the second time I met Mami So. She makes me feel comfortable immediately. It's almost like she's related to me, like a mummy, <laughs> like a real mummy. And I love that, you know, I feel like I'm being treated like family here. And it makes for a great photo as well, because even this this kind of a surrounding is getting very rare here. I highly recommend this if you love food, if you want to cook or you love cooking. It makes for people who are just generally wanting to see like an off the beaten path part of Singapore. Very genuine, very authentic um, kind of connection I felt this afternoon. That's all I have for you for this episode of Raw's Recommends. Don't forget to download the Click Network app so you can catch episodes up to a month before they hit YouTube. And don't forget to follow us on socials. My name is Roz. Bye.